one of the most powerful things about soundtrack is its ability to do multi-track mixing, which would mean laying down multiple sound effects or multiple bits of audio on different tracks and being able to sequence them, trim them, edit them, apply filters to them. So in this case, we're going to take our thunder and our wind and rain sounds and multi-track them so that we can get them to sound moderately convincing instead of the sort of clean sound that they were in the original. So I'm going to go to the location of my sound effects. In this case, we've got our wind and rain. I click it, you can hear it. I can click this, I can drag it up to the top. And now that wind and rain is laid down on the sequence. Now you'll notice that it gets a little louder and hold and it gets a little quieter. We can clean that up. We could go and take this sound, we could just want this segment. So I'm clicking and dragging, I'm clicking and dragging. I can copy it. I can go over here and paste it. So now I've got that wind and rain laid down twice and I can butt them together. And now in theory, it's a single solid take. And I could do that multiple times. If our scene was a minute long, we could extend it again and again and again, assuming that this scene is clean, we're going to be okay. I can also take my cleaned up thunder sound, which is right here, and place it on another track. So now we've got our wind and rain, and if I want to hear just one of these tracks, I can push space to play, and I can solo it. So that's just our wind. If I go back, I can solo the thunder. Or I can mute a given track by pushing M instead of the S. So let's say that we wanted to add a filter to one of our sound effects. We might want to add a filter to make this thunder get a little bit more reverberation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in this gray area and make a little box. You can see how it runs parallel with this section. And this will make it so that soundtrack will only play this little loop. So I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to select my second track, which is my thunder cleaned up track. And I'm going to go and apply some reverberation to it. In this case, I'll go to the effects tab, reverberation, and I'm going to use the soundtrack pro reverb. It's probably the simplest reverberation and probably the one that you'd want to start out with. Go ahead and let go, and we push play. Now we can change our wetness and the dryness of the mix. We can get some reverberation or some decay. If I go and I solo just my thunder, we'll be able to hear just that. So let's go back and listen to what it sounds like. Now let's go and unsolo it. To get rid of this little box, I can right click on it, go to cycle region and remove the cycle region. Now it's gone, so now I can go back. Then I can hear the thunder. If we wanted to add a little bit more thunder, I could copy it. Go over here, I'm going to paste it right there, I'll just use Command V. Here's our second thunder. If we wanted to have the thunder sound a little different, we could go down to another track, go to our thunder cleaned up, place that here. I'm going to select that, you'll notice it does not have the filter applied. I'm going to go to the Soundtrack Pro Reverb again. This time I'm going to have it have a different setting for wetness, dryness, and decay. So we'll pick something more like this. So now as our thunder rolls through, there's a slight difference in the sound. We might also want to clean up some of this sound, the wind and rain. Uh, we might want to make it wetter, we might want to make it drier, we might want to make it sound busier than it is, we might want to soften it. We can do that with any of these options. When we're done, we just go ahead and we want to export this as a WAV file. The reason we do this is I want you to hand in an audio CD. 
So to do that, we need to export this file as a WAV file so that you can bring it into iTunes and convert it to an audio CD. So I'm going to give it a name. I want to export my master mix as a WAV file. You'll notice that it's 16-bit depth and 48 kilohertz sample. In this case, because we want to go to CD, we would probably down convert it to 44.1. Then we might call this Stormy Night Master. We export it. It goes through and exports all of this mix. So that's the file we have saved to the desktop. And then we go and bring it into iTunes and export it to an audio CD.